very impressive, Brooke. You have quite a touch with the carving knife there. Thank you, Mr. Don. Ah, Sammy, see, that bird ain't gonna fly. No, sir. See, the grooves and the wings are too deep. See how Brooke worked with the grain, not against it? See? Yep, she's real good at that. Thanks, Mr. Don. Harrison, boy, oh, boy. Now, tell me, son, where'd you learn how to sand like this? I don't know. I guess I've just always been interested in the uh, sawdust. That's a gift. <laughs> Keep it up, buddy. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. You know, SD, <laughs> you're not using a power tool. You don't have to wear safety goggles. Have you seen my main man slap shot? Oh. Why don't you take it for a test drive, Mr. D? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, take your seats. I got a couple of announcements. First, please remember that design concepts for final projects are due on Friday. Aww. On a more personal note, <laughs> as of tomorrow, I'm going to be looking a little different than you kids are used to. But please know that I'm still the same old teacher, and you can count on me. Along these lines, from now on, I would greatly appreciate it if you all called me Miss Debbie instead of Mr. Don. As of tomorrow, I will be embarking on a one-way journey toward womanhood. It's taken me a long time to get the courage, but I can no longer fight the truth. I am a gender crosser. Say what? I'm having a sex change. OK? Great. Moving on to cross-grain sanding. Crying game. I can't believe it. I don't get it. Why would he want to dress like a woman? And why would he wear those shoes with that dress? Because they don't match. <laughs> why so glum, my little anti-bicep? Oh, duh, Cindy Lou Who. He just had his duck lamp fondled by a she-male. These is troubling times. <laughs> yeah, dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <clears throat> I still think it's like some sort of a joke, like a candid camera sort of thing. God, it's weird to have a class with her now. I mean, him. I mean, what do I mean? Mm -hmm. What I mean is, is that I don't think I feel comfortable in there anymore. So switch classes, hon. I say drop Mr. Doubtfires and avoid the nightmares. Last night, I woke up in a terrifying sweat. I envisioned myself wearing a Florida housewife moo moo. That's wrong. <laughs> Wow, nice change of pace, Mom. Did you do anything today? Did, did you make even one call about a job? <laughs> Mom, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I just... Hey, come on. <sighs> Sheila left me. What? Why? Oh, I don't know. She said we'd grown apart. What happened at work was too painful. I can't blame her. I'm not very lovable these days. Mom, I'm sorry. It's so strange. Just last month, I thought everything was so great. I came out, met Sheila. Now my life's just a mess. I should never have opened my big mouth at work. None of this would have ever happened. Mom? This is who you are. Who I am, honey, has lost me everything. Why are you feeling so bad right now because I didn't support you enough? What I'm saying, honey, is that we shouldn't be surprised if your father suddenly calls and sues for custody. Well, then we'll fight it. 
Just like you should fight the pharmacy chain that only fired you because you're gay. It's a giant corporation, honey, with like a gazillion lawyers. It's the right thing to do, Mom. Those people at the pharmacy, they don't know you. The real you. They don't know... The world doesn't work that way, honey. You can be different. Fine. Just don't talk about it. Because if you do, there are consequences. That's how the world works, Harrison. That's the way it works. Oh, um, Jane, I almost forgot. Principal Hall gave me permission to change my elective as long as you guys sign off. You're switching out of shop class? I thought you liked shop, Brooke. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. Right around the time our teacher decided he wanted to change from a he to a she. That is so typical. No tolerance for anyone who deviates from your airbrush ideal of perfection. <clears throat> uh, back up. Uh, your shop teacher, Mr. Don, is becoming a woman? Yes, and I think that it's courageous what he... what she is doing. Really? Then why don't you put your money where your mouth is, Sammy? Where's the pro-sex change editorial? We just got a call about a special PTA meeting on Friday. We have to vote on a motion to have a shop teacher removed. That was not the guy who won the best teacher award last year. What was his name? Deborah. Today we will learn how to use the scroll saw to turn this ordinary block of wood into a beautifully contoured doorstop. Hi, Mr. Don's a chick. You think he still gets any? Dude, don't make me go there. Guys, she's gonna hear you. She? Well, maybe you should join her on the dark side, Harriet. <laughs> Jerks. Say I'm, I'm sorry. There, there are a lot of jerks in this class, and you deserve better. And uh, I also said some stuff, and I shouldn't have. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. You should. Um, you should fight back. Well, I don't think the administration would agree with you. Well, they can't just fire you. I mean, you're a great teacher. I did the research, Harrison, and they can. So, so you're just gonna take it? Well. My wife and three boys support me, and that's what really matters. But thank you for your support and your idealism. Hold on to that for as long as you can, son. Save our teacher, save our school. Save our teachers, save enough. These dragsters are confused and they have no vote. The only person legitimately concerned with Ms. Debbie is Dawn herself, and in a show of cowardice, has declined to defend her monstrous lifestyle. Harrison John, I think what you need is a nice big detention. Pick on someone your own size, Bobby. Miss Debbie, is that you? Now more than ever, Principal. Oh. Wrote down a few thoughts, if that's okay. Before our Hedwig and the Angry Inch are through with their opening number, uh, I'd like to say a few words. Miss Glass, you are out of line, sir. I just get worked up when I think about the effect this individual has on the impressionable young minds we work so hard to mold. Now, <clears throat> I'm no orator. I'm a biology teacher, but I believe I speak for every right-thinking member of this committee when I say this nut job's gotta go. You don't speak for me, Bobby. I believe a real woman has the floor, so please shut up. First, I'm sorry for all the excitement I've caused over the last few days. It was never my intention. I'm not here to ask for special treatment. I, I'm not here to bore you with the details of my journey. I'm here to tell you that regardless of what you decide, I've never been happier 
in my own skin. I'm not ashamed. I don't regard being a woman as shameful. And I definitely don't think it should prevent me from being able to perform my job. I know uh, a lot of you feel differently. That's up to you. But I will always remember that I stood up for myself when I had the chance. And I will never forget my students. Thanks to their love and their incredibly creative support, I feel as though no matter what the outcome of tonight's vote, I've already won. Thank you very much, Miss Debbie Jackson. I see no further need for discussion. Let's vote. All those in favor of keeping Miss Jackson on as a teacher at Kennedy High, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. No. 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 Don't shut up. Don't shut up. We can't do this. This is ridiculous. This is just. this for me. You know, you always reminded me of him. Except you're more tolerant. You said your family supported your decision. I lied. He's getting married next month, and he asked me not to come. <clears throat> Just keeps getting better, huh? I'm sorry. I had no idea. You have I... nothing to feel sorry about. You, you've been an amazing friend to me, Harrison. I'll never forget that. Miss Debbie, when I get married, I'll give you a call. I'd love for you to be there. I'd be honored. Funk. <laughs> you know, speaking of that, a funny thing just happened. Mm. I got my old job back. Big promotion, too. But the really funny thing about it is, I would never have been so blessed and lucky if I'd stayed ashamed and hidden. Strange how the world works, huh? Sometimes you do win for being who you are. Sometimes you lose. 